Hey, Raheem, it's good to see you. Thanks good for joining you. us. Hey, um, what went into your decision uh, to return to the Dolphins and how do you feel about it? Um, yeah, I mean, a great question. You know, uh, one of the biggest things for me is uh, my family. So, um, you know, I, I plan my roots here. Um, as you may know, um, but also, you know, I just want to be back in, with the team, you know, as, as far as we've gone along last year, you know, I'm, I'm itching and ready, especially the pieces that we've added, you know, during the off season, as well as uh, in the draft, man, you know, it's, it's a great time to be a Dolphin. Um, and, and I'm excited to, you know, help help as, as much as I possibly can to get to where, you know, we need to get to. So there's never any guarantees in life, but you did sign a two-year contract. Did that please you that the organization went to two years as opposed to just a one? Yeah, it definitely pleases me. You know, um, the fact that you're able to get, you know, two two more years in an organization that, you know, really is taking a chance on you. It's, it's unbelievable. But, you know, um, being in this league uh, so many years now, it's, you know, you're starting to see guys, especially in, in, in my era that are, you know, accepting one year deals or um, um, anything like that. You know, it's it's just it's a good moment right now. And I, I can't can't be thankful enough, you know. Thanks for you. Yeah, appreciate it, Joe. Uh, hi, Raheem. How you doing? Hey, uh, yeah, how about yourself? Can't complain. Can't complain. Wanted to get your reaction on the Dolphins selecting uh, Devon chain in the third round and adding even more speed to this offense. Yeah, um, no, nah, it's, it's it's exciting, you know, get to get a young guy in there, um, be able to help him out and stuff like that in this offense, and you know, just teach him the ways of, of what it what it takes to be a pro. Um, you know, that's the most important thing, and also try to help, you know, utilize and try to help us win games. That's the that's the ultimate goal, right? You know, you you want a player that comes in and understands, you know, his value, and and hopefully he's able to contribute in the way that you know he feels it suits him best. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of work to be done. And, you know, I know that he's going to be excited when, especially coming into the, in the room with a bunch of guys that are um, well established in this offense. So, uh, quick follow up. So, what kind of possibilities do you see for this offense with the amount of the insane speed <clears throat> with his addition along with you, J Jalen, and Tyreek? Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> we pretty much have a four by one team and, and just uh, us four guys. And, um, you know, it's going to bring a whole different dynamic to, um, to this offense, you know, you get guys that that can go out there and run routes. You get guys that can, you know, separate themselves in in the pass game and and then ultimately in the run game. You know, it's it's very dynamic, and for you to be able to, like I say, go out there and do those things, man, it's going to be a mismatch all across the board. So, thanks, Ray. Yep, thank you. Appreciate it, David. Hey, Raheem. Good to see you. How you doing? I'm good, David. How you doing, man? Good to oh, see you. Man. Good, good, good. On the flip side of uh, the drafting a running back, how nice is it to be back with uh, Jeff and get the whole running back unit uh, from the end of last season returning? Man, man, it was honestly, that's the most exciting thing. You know, I was having talks with uh, with Stu's about, you know, the before um, free agency. And I was like, hey, man, you know what? What will be nice is if we're able to get everybody back in this in this in this building, in this room, because you know, the chemistry is just unmatched in any other place that I've been a part of. You know, it's, there's a lot of guys in this room that, you know, really, really want to be great. There's a lot of guys that want to go out there and, and put their best foot forward. And that just makes you, um, and, and I'm talking, speaking in, in regards to me, it makes me want to go out there and, and play my best um, and, and put my best foot forward. So um, to be able to have, you know, Jeff, uh, Savon, Miles, John, Love it, and Alec, we're all in this thing together, you know, um, it's definitely exciting, and, and I just can't wait. And, hey, you know Mike McDaniel as well as anyone, so I want to know now that you're a bit removed from last season, what changes, if any, did you see from him going from a coordinator to a head coach? And early on this offseason, do you see any changes or growth uh, going into a second year uh, for him leading a team? Yeah, I know, um, you know, last year uh, being his first time giving the play calls, also being his first time being a head coach, and, uh, you know, there's some things that I noticed, um, you know, in regards to Mike and, and uh, his personality with the, the whole scheme of, of football. But um, as of now, man, it's like he's he's totally locked in. He, uh, you know, he's, he got his feet wet. You know, that's how every coach approaches it. You know, being a first time coach, you just you test in the waters a little bit. But now that he's he's settled down, I believe that he's going to start making 
making some moves in a way that's going to, you know, shock the shock the world. It's not going to be shocking for me because I know what he can do. Um, you know, that's why I'm along this journey with him. But uh, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a lot a lot of a lot of people going to be shocked about what he does. So, right, thanks, man. Yeah, appreciate you, David. Travis. Hey, Raheem, man. How's it going? I'm good, Trav. How you doing, man? Not too bad. It's good to see you. I have a couple of follow-up questions to the previous questions that were asked here. So the first one was, you mentioned, you know, kind of taking a mentor role with Devon A-Chain. What's the one thing you would tell him to do or to 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 a way to act to get on Coach Dudasville's good side? <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, the, the easiest way to get on Stu's good side is uh, just be present, you know. Um, when he asks you questions, make sure that you – understand the question thoroughly and then and give a good response. I mean, that's, that's what you want to do um, in regards to getting on, you know, Stu's good side. Um, but, you know, it's all about patience and time too. You know, you got time and patience right now uh, to understand this offense. And, and that's what, that's what he needs right now is a little bit of time to, to get used to everything, get acclimated on being a pro um, and everything like that. Yeah, see, I knew he'd be in good hands with you. Uh, my other question was, I know, I know you played in a similar offense prior to coming here with the 49ers and under Coach McDaniel, obviously, but you still have to develop those new relationships in terms of blocking angles and all the stuff that goes into a new offensive line. How do you think a second year together can help you and all the backs that are coming back operate even smoother here in year number two? Yeah, you know, that's a great question, Travis. Um, you know, the fact that we have this O-line um, that, you know, they – they start hitting their stride towards the end of the year and then moving into the off season, um, getting his second year up under them. I mean, I prime example, I look at Connor, you know, Connor Williams to take a, take a guy like him, you know, he moved from being a left guard um, out in Dallas um, to, you know, moving to center for the first time in his career. Um, and then having to learn his offense, making the right calls. And now I just feel like he's going to, he's going to take himself up to another notch just simply because he understands the offense a lot better. So if you got that chemistry right there, everything starts up front. If that those guys up front, you know, can make it happen, then we're going to be in good hands. And as of, as of right now, they're just – they're all locked in, especially with Frank being being there to help them. And then we also got Butch as well. So I know Butch – I'm very familiar with Butch out in San Fran. So um, he's going to have them boys over there, you know. He's going to get them right. Great stuff. Thanks, Raheem. Yeah, appreciate you, Chad. Chris? Hey, what's up, Raheem? Chris, what's going on, man? Long time no see. I know. Hey, I'm looking forward to seeing the most underrated touchdown celebration in the league again. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, I asked a couple other guys about the mood around the team, and, and so I'll ask you, I mean, is, is, is everybody, like, super hype? Is it more business, and, and does it matter what the attitude is at this point? Yeah, I mean, right now it's, it's still early on, um, you know, especially when we get the new guys coming in, the draftees and undrafted guys and, you know, um, still early on, you know, but I think that the, the biggest thing is, as far as our level of uh, where we're at, I think everybody's, you know, on a copacetic level, everybody's on a smooth level right now, just because we all want to work and we all want to just hang out and, and you know, um, you know, I've been able to to hang out with a couple guys already. Um, you know, a new the new tight end we signed um, uh, from Denver and stuff like that. So you know, we've been hang, we've been all been hanging out. I've been hanging out with Jason. We all go to hockey games. You know, so it's been it's been fun, man. But um, right now, I just I think that we're all just on the level head right now, and we're just trying to work and put in that work and know we know what it takes to you know move forward. So uh, I mean, Mike McDaniel, you know, he's been able to to have us in a commitment phase, you know, in, in, in these different phases. And right now we're on commitment number two, which is the lock in on phase two. So, um, you know, everybody's bought in, everybody's really trying to do the best they possibly can. So. Yep. And uh, a follow up if I can, I'm, I'm sure somebody's going to follow up on the hockey thing, but I want to ask you more about the, um, the, the atmosphere around the team, because last year, Mike McDaniel, we saw him switch up the locker room and, you know, it wasn't offensive linemen with offensive linemen. How much does this stuff, the, the camaraderie, going to hockey games, sitting next to another guy and getting to know an a, a offensive lineman instead of another running back, how much does that help and how does that help you win games? Yeah, I mean, that, that helps, you know, a tremendous amount simply because, you know, we were, um, and when I say we, I mean, I'm, I'm also alluding to, you know, Jeff Wilson when we were um, headed to the Super Bowl down here at Hard Rock in 2019. 
um, the camaraderie on that team was unmatched. You know, it was something that was very special because everybody was hanging out with everybody. And so that's what, you know, Mike is trying to do with this team now is just trying to make sure that everybody's on the same page, you know, try to get to know your, your teammates because, you know, you, you're, you're going to need them at some point during the season. So um, what better way than to start that early on? And, and that's what we're able to do right now. So. How? Raheem, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing, man? Good All to right. see you. Good to see you, too. Yes, sir. Uh, regarding uh, A-Chain and yourself, um, the the 40 time, you know, A-Chain's 4-3-2 certainly gets, gets your attention in a hurry. And I'm wondering at the running back position, you got so many different qualities that you can lean on, whether it's elusiveness, power, quickness, and speed. Can you describe how important speed is in that? Where does it rank for you? Yeah, I mean, um, speed for me is is definitely a, a um, given, obviously, because who I am, you know, I, I bring a lot of speed to the offense. But um, I would say that, you know, when you're dealing with speed in the league, I mean, there's all uh, guys are big all the time. You know, there's gonna be guys that that are big that could that could run too. But you know, when it, when you're dealing with a guy that's very fast and can separate themselves, I mean, that's that's the ultimate thing. You know, you can't teach speed. Um, I know you've heard that saying multiple times, um, and that's something that you know is just from within a, a certain guy. So it's 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 gonna be fun. You know, getting to have him alongside you know a lot of guys that are fast in this offense, but. You know, we're, when when you talk about us, you know, it's definitely going to be more about speed. So um, we are really a track team out there, but you know, it, it has to be the right situation. And I think it's going to be it's going to be beneficial for everybody. All right, I got to ask you the other question. Mm -hmm. Panthers Bruins was pretty insane. Now they play the Maple Leafs. Who you got? Oh, I, I mean, I got to go with the Panthers, of course. I know I, I, I'm picking up on hockey, and I know a little bit about. Um, you know, the sport a little bit more now. Um, but I know that Maple Leafs were, were struggling uh, to get into the playoffs and they they finally ended up, you know, winning the first round and um, the, the Panthers are just hot right now. So I gotta, I gotta go with the Panthers. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Joe? Raheem, I was looking at the stats from last year. You averaged 4.9, which is good. Jeff averaged 4.7, which is good. Coach McDaniel told us at the owners meetings, and, and you'll like this, he said, we didn't run enough. Has he told you guys that? And do you think <laughs> that y'all really are going to run more this year? Yeah. Um, you know, I had to talk with him during the exit interviews at the end of the season. And, um, you know, one, one thing that he was like very, you know, apologetic about was the fact that we didn't run enough. Um, and that he was going to do his his best to change that for the upcoming year. So, um, you know, when when he talks like that, it just gets me fired up even more. Like, hey, I know I'm getting the ball a little bit more. The running back room is going to get the ball a little bit more um, in regards to touches. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's 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 a thriller, man. I'm I'm excited. And I truly can't wait for that. You know, that opportunity when he calls calls out the you know when we're getting the ball. So. Because the thumb injury kept you out of the playoff game last year, mm -hmm. how badly would you like to play in a playoff game for the Dolphins this year? Oh man, so bad. You know, I was I was honestly looking. I was I was trying my best to try to get out there. You know, I was talking to I had talked to like five different doctors. You know, all of them pretty much said the same thing that my 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 season was over with for for the year. Um, and it was tough. You know, trying to swallow that pill, but you know it's. Uh, Ultimately, as a player, that's something that you definitely don't want to hear. But, you know, all, all's well now, so I'm ready to rock. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, Thumbs up. No, there you go, baby. Barry? Hi, Rain. Hey, uh, how you doing? Nice to see you. I realize this might just be unique to the quarterback position, but sometimes you'll hear stories about coaches telling their starting quarterback before a draft, don't be surprised if we draft a quarterback. Uh, did that happen with Mike, with you, or with Jeff? Did he tell you at all before the draft, hey, we might draft a running back, don't be surprised, or has he said anything about it after the draft? No, I didn't mention anything about, you know, drafting a running back. And, um, you know, I 
honestly, <laughs> I look at the draft, you know, um, as a way for, you know, the future, um, which is awesome. You know, that's that's what you want in an organization. But um, in regards, you know, I'm, I'm an undrafted guy, so I really don't pay attention all that much to it. I just see when we get the picks or whatever. And, um, but no, nah, it's, it's exciting, though, because like I said, you always want to see young guy make it and, and do his best and stuff like that. And, um, you know, he, he needs some guidance at some point. So especially early on, and I'm, I'm willing and able to do those things for him. So. Thanks so much. Yeah, I appreciate you, Barry. Guys, we have time for two more questions. We're going to go to Omar and then Cam. Hey, Raheem. Um, I, one thing I've noticed about you, I haven't been around like all the other guys, but you have such a mentoring spirit for a lot of these young players, and it's about teamwork and camaraderie, um, which, you know, is a unique is a unique approach. Where does that come from? Does it come from your background trying to get your footing in the league? Yeah, um, honestly, you know, I, I I was fortunate and blessed enough um, when I came out, um, you know, undrafted with the Eagles. I didn't really, I didn't have much guidance in college. You know, I didn't have a role model that I could look up to. Um, but I did have, um, you know, with the Eagles, I did have Darren Sproles. Um, he was one of the biggest um biggest influential you know pe person in my life um in regards to football because you know I never forget we had a um you know how during the like right now um you know we, when the rookies come in they'll be they'll have their you know rookie meetings or whatever after all the other you know activities or whatever um and we also had workshops where we had had to focus on the mental capacity and how to handle, you know, adversity. And they brought in a mental coach from Australia who I'm still Patty, who I'm still cool with to this day. And um, yeah, he, he, we did exercise and he, they were like, name something, you know, that people always say about you. And I want you to name, name something, you know, in regards to your reaction and what you, what you would say to them. And um, you know, Darren Sproles, he, me and him were partnered up and, and, you know, he st stood up and was like, hey, look, you know, this is what people say about me. And he was like, people say that I'm too small to play in the league. And, you know, they say I'm too short. I'm too this. I'm too that. Um, and then, he, the, the, of course, the coach was like, well, what's your reaction? He was like, I don't care what they say because I, I know who I am as a person. I know who I am as a, as a player. Um, and then at that moment, I was just like, man, this guy really just – you know, he's he's the smallest guy on the field. That's a given fact. You know, he's always going to be the smallest guys. But at the end of the day, he doesn't care because he has that lion heart in him. Um, and I think that, that that really struck with me, you know, to have somebody that was like a mentor. So that's why I try to do my best to, you know, bring that mentorship to not only football, but in, you know, in life in general, because, you know, everybody goes through different phases of, of life and everybody has their ups and downs. But you have somebody that can at least, you know, speak to you or, or guide you or talk to you in a way that you could relate and, and it's all about relatability, then I think that that's the most important thing. Cam? Hey. Hey, what's up, man? Cam, what's good with you, man? This man, hey, this man Cam has been traveling, y'all. <laughs> hey, man, I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> I actually want to follow up what, what Oa just asked you, and then I have another question if I could. Um, you you mentioned Darren Sproles. He's a legend, by the way. But that experiment, I think, is interesting. If someone asked you the same, what would you say in your own game about what people say about you and your reaction? Yeah, no, nah, I would tell them, hey, look, you know, I people would say, um, like, one thing, prime example, oh, he's not he's not built for the league, right? Um, and I could I could react and, and counter react that with well I'm I'm going into year nine so you, I mean there's not too many guys that that could say they're going into year nine you know playing in this league whether they're dealing with injury or, or bouncing back from a major injury like I have um, and, and my age as well and I would you know I would tell them it doesn't matter what other people say about you as long as you go out there put in the work and be true to yourself and look yourself in the mirror that's all that really matters. Um, and, and that's something I've always, you know, taken, taken the approach of every year. So if I'm able to go out there and um, be injury free, um, be successful in my own way, you know, try to rush for a thousand yards, try to, you know, catch for 500 yards. And, um, you know, that's ultimately 
who I am as a person. That's what I want to become. You know, I, I want to, I want to end my career with the, you know, the mindset that I, I left it out there, but at the same time, I want to be a gold jacket, you know, member. So um, whatever I got to do to get that done, it, I know it's a long shot, but it's still not going to stop me from me being me, you know, so. No, that's real. That's real. And then I guess to close for me, uh, there have been a couple of conversations in this chat about uh, the speed that you guys have on offense. I want to ask you to maybe take me into your shoes. What has that what does that speed do to defenses when you're on the field, you know, this past year and as you look forward to to 2023? Yeah, I mean, you know, speed separates a lot. Um, you know, if you get those man to man matchups, which you will, um, and you, you're able to separate. That's it's going to wreak havoc across the, the whole NFL, um, especially with what we got. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be awesome. Appreciate you, Rain. Yeah, appreciate y'all.